Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to slow down a track without affecting the pitch. So here we are in Adobe Audition and I've got some music from our retro 80s library. It sounds pretty good. Okay, so we want to slow it down, but not affect the pitch. First way we can do this, and there are a few methods I'll show you in this video, is go into the effects menu, look for time and pitch, and go to stretch and pitch. And we'll say, okay, the new duration, let's set this to default to start with, uh, should be, instead of 0 0.51, let's make it 0 0.55. So let's make it 55 seconds. It adds a stretch of 106.94%, and let's listen to it. <laughs> So that's a pretty reliable way to slow down that track ever so slightly. What you don't want to do is tick lock, stretch, and pitch shift because this will change the pitch. And you definitely do not want to be doing that. Uh, so that's one way you can slow down ever so slightly. You can also do this same method inside the multi-track and that might be a handier and easier way to work as it's non-destructive, meaning you're not changing the wave file. You can always go back to the original thing without having to undo. Let me show you what I mean. In multi-track over here, uh, this is the session here with our 80s track. And you can see the track ends, the peak, right here on 44 seconds. But maybe I want it on 45 seconds. Simply switch on this toggle here. It's right there, global clip stretching. And this will give you two white triangles at the start and end of each waveform. So I want that peak to be at 45 there. I just simply grab that toggle, you get a little clock icon, pull out, and there it is. Now the peak is on 45 seconds. Now for the eagle-eared of you there. Uh, you will notice maybe a little bit of a stretchy sound there. It's not perfect. It's not bad, but if you go any higher than, say, 110% on this, 129% stretch, you can really hear it stretching out and the algorithm's very good but uh it's not that good when you go to extreme stretches this can work really well on voiceovers if you want to give a really silly kind of stretched out sound to what is being said but when we're talking about tracks uh, we really want this to be more than perfect so we've already looked at time stretching clip stretching multi-track stretching all that good stuff but there's one final thing in adobe audition that's mind-blowing it enables it basically enables us to slow down a track to be as long as we want it to be without affecting anything about the track it essentially remixes that track and to get this you right click you look for remix in the menu enable remix and you see it will first of all analyze your clip and then it will give you the option over here to work on the remix properties so we had zero uh 51 seconds we went up to 55 seconds okay probably push it up to a minute maximum but if we wanted to go any more like if we wanted to make this a two minute track that would be impossible using normal time stretch but using remix two minutes it's done it how did it do it? This is magic. Uh, well, it's simply gone through and it's made some edits. It's used its very clever computer algorithm here to make an edit. Let's listen to that edit. Right there where the jagged line is, there's an edit. Let's uh, wind back and play. And you don't even notice the edit. Here's another edit. And again, another edit. And finally, that track is ending at the two minute mark and it doesn't sound like it's been destroyed or ripped up or changed in any way so remember this it's a fantastic feature only available in multi-track in adobe audition cc right click remix enable remix go over here to your properties tab to change the settings you can also change the edit length features a minimum loop and slack as well if you want a uh, longer or shorter edit uh, depending on what's appropriate for your track but this is all possible and it's super easy inside adobe audition to slow down a track without affecting the pitch <laughs>